what's going on. Um, so today's video is going to be a story time. You read the title, you already know. So today's story time is going to be about my house being haunted. Now, if you have been subscribed to me for the past three months now, um, you probably saw my other video about my house being haunted. But ever since I posted that video, some things have come up. And the difference between today's story time and the last story time that I did regarding this whole situation is that today I actually have video clips to prove every, well not every, but 90% of everything that I'm about to talk about. Grab your popcorn, pause the video, go make it, and come back here and we will get spooky. If you don't like spooky stuff, just exit. Um, and you will see another video this coming up week from me to you. <laughs> Let's talk about my Snapchat. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you probably have seen this clip. So the clip that I'm talking about is my door moving. And in my last video, I have touched upon that subject that my door is always moving. It's always moving unless it's shut. It doesn't, thank God, oh my God, knock on wood. <laughs> thank God it doesn't like open up on its own because then I would completely lose my ish ever since i moved into this house my door has always been like ch 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 doing this whole thing and last time i was filming my paranormal experience slash my house is haunted video i wanted to like i actually kept my door open so it makes that noise but it didn't like it didn't throughout the whole video because it happens randomly and no it is not my window my window is closed no it's not my air conditioning it's nothing it just randomly happens a month ago i posted this on my snapchat i will insert the clip right now Yeah, so what you just saw happens every time I don't shut my door. I don't know if it's paranormal activity. I really don't know what it is. And right after I filmed that Snapchat, it actually ended up slamming itself. So I was like, oh my god, I think it just got mad at me for Snapchatting it. But yeah, it slammed itself. And it usually doesn't slam itself um, because it just goes on forever. It's like, Ch -ch -ch. it gets so annoying, you guys. Two days ago, I was downstairs just on my phone and my door kept making that noise. And I was so annoyed, but I was so lazy to go upstairs to close the door. But like, it just kept doing it. And it does not shut itself. It just keeps doing Ch -ch -ch -ch. It's the most annoying thing ever. I think it's paranormal because it happens at random times like there's no breeze there's no air conditioning it just happens so that's like the one thing that has been happening and I'm kind of used to it but I just wanted to insert in here because um, I got it on tape finally I wish I got the whole slamming door thing but I didn't because snapchat is like seven seconds long and it cut right before the slam happened so yeah I just wanted to include this in here just so you guys could see that I'm not lying and that it does happen and it's not that scary I'm actually really used to it by now but it's just really annoying whenever someone leaves my door open or if I end up leaving my door open and I'm like downstairs I always hear it do that whole thing next thing that happened to me um, I don't know if this is paranormal but I've never ever 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 in my life have experienced something like this and that is um, out of body experience. It was probably the coolest experience of my life. That night when it happened, I heard a lot of noises and squeaks and teaks, whatever. I turned on my like I turned on my laptop and I started watching my soap opera and um, I kind of fell asleep to it. And the next thing that I remember is I was coughing, like because I was sick. So I was coughing and I woke up from my dry cough. And so I drank some cough syrup and I also took a ty Tylenol pill. So that happened and then I turned back my soap opera because it like turned off obviously. Uh, I turned it on again and I started watching it and then I slowly started to fall asleep to it. And the next thing that I remember is um, craziest thing ever. Uh, basically, I remember getting out of my bed, coming over to this like area where I'm sitting right now. So this is where my table is, and my like behind you guys, there's a desk and there's a computer, and that's where I came towards because my water bottle was there. And I remember drinking the water, and as I was putting the water down, after drinking it, I I realized that I wasn't standing. I felt like I was floating. You know what I mean? I looked over to my bed and I started looking around everywhere. 
and everything was so like gloomy it was weird everything was very gloomy and and then I realized I don't have legs like I didn't have legs it was like faded I felt like I was a ghost you know so I was floating and I would like jump up and the first thing that I thought of when that happened I was like wait I think I got high off of the cough syrup <laughs> like I'm not even joking I thought I got high off the cough syrup and then I'm like wait but like why am I floating though am I actually that high so anyway I got really scared so I went around my bed and I went back to sleep and then I woke up and then I realized wait something does not add up that did not happen that was not a dream that was definitely an out-of-body experience. That happened, and I just wanted to include it in this because it was very creepy. Okay, so the next thing that I'm about to talk about, I thought this only can happen in movies, but it happened, and I got it on freaking tape. I caught the next thing on tape because of my vlogging channel, so if you like vlogs, make sure to subscribe because creepy things happen, clearly. I already caught two paranormal things, one that I'm about to talk about. Um, and another thing on my vlogging channel so if you like vlogs and you like paranormal stuff subscribe to that channel because honestly I always catch something and I really hope I don't anymore but like it still happens so yeah I was vlogging and I was I remember I was getting ready to see my boyfriend we were about to go out and uh, before going out I needed to switch my laundry from the washer to the dryer my laundry room is in the basement and the basement itself like not only my basement but overall basements just creep me out I don't know why I feel like it's just a very, very dark place. Um, but yeah, I don't like basements overall. That's why I don't really get my laundry done. <laughs> you guys could see this in a vlog. I took my I took my wet clothes and I started putting it in my dryer. And then I took out a clothing piece. Like, I think it was a sweater or something or a t-shirt um, that you're not allowed to put in the dryer. And I put it on a hanger. And I turned my camera towards where I was walking to hang it up. And as I'm walking... My camera literally shifts to like a different angle by itself. I only saw this happen while I was editing. I rewatched that video in slow motion, in like double double slow motion, just to figure out what is going on, like what caused this to happen. And the first thing that came up to my head is like, well, maybe the dryer was on, so the vibration from the dryer would move the camera. But that was not the case because if you keep watching the vlog, after I hang up that clothing piece, then and only then I turn on the dryer like the dryer was off and clearly the washer was off as well So I think that was definitely like a ghost or a paranormal activity because what else can cause my camera to move from this to this like on its own because the I put my camera on my dryer and the dryer is like it's like a flat surface It's not like it's bumpy or anything for it to like slide off and turn so yeah I rewatched that clip like so many times just to see maybe there's gonna be ghosts or there's gonna be a pop-up there is no pop-up so yeah that happened and another thing that happened I will also insert it here this vlog won't be up by the time you see this video but it will be up during this week yeah it will be up by Friday Friday. Um, I was getting ready again to see my boyfriend and I was like just talking and I'm like okay like I'm leaving or like I was going to a barbecue I think yeah I was going to a barbecue and as I'm vlogging I heard something fall and I will insert the clip right now I'm to a barbecue right now and I don't think I'm gonna vlog there yeah I don't think I'm gonna end up vlogging there just because people won't be comfortable around the camera but yeah okay something just fell See, like, I completely lost my ish, and I was like, oh my god, something just fell, and I was just so scared, and I put my camera down, and I went, and I checked everything, and everything was fine, so, uh, that was creepy. And the last thing that had happened was two days ago, again, I was getting ready to see my boyfriend, <laughs> story of my life, and I experienced something I've never, ever, ever experienced in this house before, is... Um, I felt like someone was at home. This did not feel like a paranormal activity. I felt like there was, like, another person in my house. Like, it was one of those things where I thought my parents are home, but they were not home. And this happened, like, a couple of times already where, like, I would hear my parents' voices, and then I would get out of bed, and I would look around, and nobody's home. So basically what happened was I was getting ready, and I was already, like, about to get dressed. I was already, like, my makeup was done, my hair was ready. I was just about to get dressed, and he was already outside. As I'm getting dressed, I felt like I heard the front door close. Whenever someone enters the house, I hear the door open. But this time, and then close. You know when someone walks into your house, and you hear the door open, and then you hear it closing? Like, I only heard the door close. 
So I was, I was already creeped out like, ooh, what's that sound? I didn't know if it was actually the front door or if it was something else. So it creeped me out and I locked the door. Then I started hearing someone walking downstairs. Now it was weird because it would be like walk, quietness, and then walk again, quietness. Like it was very strange. It was a combination of my wood floors cracking and it was a combination of someone walking. Like it was really strange. Yeah, I hate when my wood floors crack. Like I hate it. Like I honestly absolutely hate it because I feel like there's ghosts walking on it. But I know like wood cracks, it's like... It's like a normal thing, so, but anyway, it creeps me out, and I heard the door open. I mean, I heard the door close, so I'm pretty sure it wasn't just the wood. So yeah, that was the last thing that has happened so far, and I really hope that nothing else happens. I think it was Shane that said, every time I make a video about my house being haunted, it gets even worse. So, I really hope that doesn't happen to me. Anyways, that is kind of it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video slash story time. Um, if you got creeped out, I'm sorry, and if you did, like, this wasn't, like, too scary, but, like, if you were living in the moment with me, you would get really creeped out, like, honestly. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's story time. Uh, I'm gonna go now. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.